Hi everyone, it's Jackie here. Um, somebody asked me uh, after watching my last video with the box I made for the rosette flowers how I made the boxes so I'm going to try and show you how I do it. Um, there is a bit of maths involved but hopefully it's quite straightforward um, and it does mean it's a very simple box and you can make it any size to suit any project so I've got these that I want to send off for a swap so I thought I'd try making the box for these on camera as best I can. The first thing I do is measure the size that I need for the base of the box and I just do that quite simply by lining these up on my craft mat leaving a little bit of a gap round. I can see that I need my box to be say six and a quarter by one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a quarter square. So that's my first measurement. So my base of the box is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. The other thing I need to know is how deep I want the box. And my deepest bauble here is a about, to be on the safe side, we'll make it five eighths. The, the bead comes to about half an inch, so another eighth will give a bit of clearance. So we need it to be five eighths deep. So my first measurement um, is a six and a quarter square with five eighths on either side, top and bottom. I usually draw it and then I have to think in terms of quarters and eighths. Um, you can turn quarters into eighths easily. Obviously one quarter equals two eighths. So my width of my card needs to be six and a quarter plus five eighths on either side, um, which comes out to seven and a half inches. It's six and a quarter plus 10 eighths. 10 eighths is one and a quarter inches. So one and a quarter onto six and a quarter is seven and a half. So I cut a piece of card seven and a half by seven and a half take my scoreboard and just score at 5 eighths all the way around. Okay, so 5 eighths, 5 eighths all the way around. At that point you can check that your project fits and that you've got your maths right and mine does. Okay, so it fits into the base of that box quite snugly but with a little bit of breathing room. What I do then is take this and cut straight up here on one end. Okay, turn it round, do the same there. These aren't the best scissors, are they? There we are, there. And then I need to, I've already, um, what do you call it, done that <laughs> with my box. Sorry, um, and then I need to turn it in and stick those down. See if I can get the glue to work straight off to do that while we're on camera. Never thought to check that first. Okay, so that's one. Glue's pretty good. This is Scotch Quick Dry PVA glue. I use it for most things to be honest these days. Once we've done the base of the box we need to think about the lid. And to make this box, as I said, it's a really simple construction um, and the lid just goes all the way around. So again, the maths is quite easy, really, I think. Um, so there's our basic box, and then we want the lid to wrap around. Um, if you do the lid so that it wraps all the way around, you get a slightly sturdier construction, which is nice. And I actually want the lid to be about a quarter of an inch wider um, on all the sides not the back though okay so because it's six and a quarter that way and I want quarter of an inch here my basic measurement here is going to be six and a half inches 
okay so that's to give me quarter of an inch overlap there and obviously the same in the other direction because this is a square box you have to do different measurements obviously for every size box you make um, I can't use one piece of card so I need my first piece of card to be six and a half plus this five eighths here six and a half plus five eighths is seven and one eighth it's six and four eighths plus five eighths okay so that's seven and an eighth I'm going to cut two pieces the same because I want the base and the lid so I've done that so this is my six and a half here okay by six and a half plus five eighths here when I score this just to make sure that the spine fits comfortably up here I actually put it on say the three mark I hope you can see that um, and I want to score at five eighths obviously but I move it fractionally along so that it's a fraction more than five eighths that means that when I fold it up and fit it onto the box um, it's going to just fold comfortably around the spine. So I've got my two pieces um, exactly the same for this box because it's a square box and I want these to fit together like this. Okay, so Let's do that. So I'm going to glue the spine pieces together so I get a nice sturdy spine. fit them, glue them together up to the score line, definitely not over it. Okay. And then this basically is the box. And that folds around neatly like that. What I tend to do is glue the base of the box onto there just inside this score line. Um, I usually round the corners as well because it's just a nicer finish. If it's a little bit, looks a little bit big, that one perhaps is a touch, I'll probably just shave a little bit off each of those. Um, and then I'm going to make a belly band to fasten it closed. I can do another short video to show you how I measure for the belly band. Um, and make that. wouldn't necessarily glue it together until I've stuck papers on it. Um, it needs to be printed up a bit so hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions just drop me a comment and I'll try and answer. Thank you for watching.